Hello everyone, it's Angela. How are you all doing? Um, it's that time of the week and I'm here to bring you another little project that you can use in your journals. Um, as you know, I'm working on my autumn journal still. I'm using my autumn luster kit and I couldn't help it. I had to try and use another envelope. So this one you can use as a, a mailer envelope or any envelope. The envelope that I've used, I've cut it in half, but um, it doesn't have a window. It's just one of these. I think we call this a DL envelope here, but I will give you some measurements quickly. I think it is nine and a quarter. Oh no, eight and three quarters, which is 22 centimeters. And the width is... 11 centimeters or four and a quarter inches all right but again um it doesn't have to be those exact measurements i've cut this in half exactly in half um and i'm going to layer this up um in different ways so i want to i'm going to keep the one that opens on this side at the top i'm going to tuck that flap down like that then i'm going to take this one and i'm going to layer it underneath and I'm going to just fit this one at the corner there like that and then I'm going to layer it down so it sort of um, matches up like this all right so that's where I'm going to go with that and in fact I can take um, I can glue these down together right now so this has got these little tags these strips glue sticky strips on them I'm going to take those off I'm just going to grab my glue here and um, right so I've got the one with the opening on on the right at the top I've got one with the opening on the left at the bottom this one I'm going to tuck down this one I'm going to stick up over there so I'm going to just um, get this around just this top bit here where the sticky bit is like that and I'm going to just stick this down like this if I can get it to lie flat right, let's lift this up a bit I think I think that's about it just got to move over a little bit a little bit so we'll just do that like that is that right now yeah pretty much yeah Okay, I suppose I could have moved it a little bit more, but that's all right. I'll live with that. Okay, so we've got our um, flap at the top and we've got a, a flap at the bottom here. All right. So we're going to decorate this up a little bit now. And I have used this page with this writing on the side here. And this had a pumpkin. So this was, let me get it right now, I think it was like this, there we go, so it's the page that has the pumpkin like that in, uh, and you can see where I've taken these pieces from, alright, <laughs> so that's it, uh, I think this went a little bit further on, but I've chopped that bit off, alright, so I'm going to use this bit for the top, and I'm going to stick that down just over there like that, so... And there we go so yeah no window in this one i thought I'd, I'd i'd steer away from a window today and i'm not going to stitch this either <laughs> so let's see how we get on with the glue so i am taking the glue right to the edges here how's your week been have you all had time to craft what are you getting up to i always love knowing what you're getting up to and what you're doing so um i've had a nice relaxing day had to spend a lot of time getting my car mot'd which is like the annual checks that we have to have done so that's what i did i'm going to stick now the one with the pumpkin i'm going to stick that onto this section here like that so i'm going to stick that down like that yeah um so I did all of the, the bits and bobs that needed to be done today and, and that's why I'm recording this so late with the light on because the day is just 
run away with me with all the things that had to be done, which are needed sometimes, aren't they? You know, I've just had a thought here. When I was testing this on another envelope, uh, I can't do it now. Um, I used a shorter flap, um, but that's all right. We will survive. Right, so I've got that lovely image there. And we should have a opening on this side, yeah, which doesn't go all the way, but we're going to cover it so that it does. So you'll see. All right, so we've got that there. Um, and at the top here, uh, we're going to, we've got the leaves sticking out there. We've got that there. Now at the top here, I want to cover this bit as well. So I've just taken, I've been in the scrap pile there and I've just taken some of the, the lace um, from the tea lace and Ava. You know, I love using this one a lot. So which way did I cut it? Was it like this? It was. And I'm going to go and, um, yeah, that's it. And stick that bit down. Now, I don't want to stick glue on this section because I want to slide a card in here. So I think the way to do this is to put glue around that section so that I don't, you know, stick that down like that. I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to... Uh, run some glue on the ed the little edge here only and that way I won't stick down the bit that I don't want to so let's do that let's fingers crossed I've got this the right way up now yeah yeah I think so right so that should work Okay, so we've got that. Um, so because that opens up that way, I thought I'd put a little pocket over here. Not that side. I'm going to do it that side because when you lift it up, that's sort of the right way up. So I've just taken a scrap of the background page. I'm just going to turn that over and um, put glue on the three sides here. So really quick and easy. I love pockets and tags, love my little secret notes. Right, so that's going to then just fit really snugly there. So we've got a little tucking pocket. Say so that fast and get it wrong. <laughs> okay, so we've got that like that. I think I need my little bone folder quickly. And we'll just flatten that over there like that. Right, and then this one, I just want to put um, some some stuff on the back here. Now, this is stuck down as far as I recall, yes. So, that's fine. What we want to do now is, I've got this big piece that's going to cover the ho most of the back here. That bit we're going to stick down, so it doesn't matter that we haven't um, covered that all. Um, and... Again, I'm going to run the glue just up to the edge of the pocket bit uh, and the middle. And I will just put glue like I did with the other one on the edge. So I've got that bit there. You know, this bit here. Be very gentle about the, the edge there. Okay. And then I'm just going to run it on the edges. I think that's the easiest way to do it, really. Okay, like that. There we go. So I hope everybody's had some fun, made some exciting projects this week. I wish, I mean, I do craft a lot, but I could wish I had even more time to craft even more. I think we're just never satisfied, are we? But I do find it really relaxing, as we all do, I suppose. So... I've thoroughly enjoyed seeing all the project that people are making as well. So that's been amazing as too. Right, I think I've gone a bit over on that side, have I? I have, but it's really in line with the pocket, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so that's all coming together. All right, so probably just going to take my Distress sponge here and just 
run this on the edges of the envelope itself like that okay oh my voice is going croaky i think what i'm gonna do is i've got this little bit here and i, I think that's what i'm gonna do right so i've got this all together like that um i've got a few bits that i'm going to put in i want to just grab the page here this is just a <clears throat> i've never done this before but it's um you know we live and learn <laughs> so i'm going to stick it and i'm going to just take this whole lot away this is um just a couple of pages from the end here so you know just after my venom piece and that so it's opposite this page onto this one here i'm going to just take this bit out the way and just use it like that um and i have just stenciled um using my tattered rose distress oxide and my um tim holt stencil this bit here um, on these two sides there so that's what i've done and i thought um, I'd like to use this, and I might need to trim it, I'm not sure yet, um, to make a little slot for this to slide into. Um, it's going to rest up at the top there like that. Because um, if I, that way I can take it out and you can write a note on the back there. So it's just a thought that I had. Um, I was going to just stick it down on that spot there. But I suppose I could just do that and lift that up, but I'm not sure if that's not going to bend it, you know, and I don't want that. So what I thought I'd do now is I'm going to stick this down and make like a little belly band across here if I can. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we've got a little bit of ephemera that we can uh, remove. So I think that's what I will do. I'm going to just chop it off there. So this is just, as you can see, slightly wider on each side. I'm going to take my uh, double-sided tape for this job. Move that over. Just... Um, Put some tape on either side here, close to the edges I can get it, like that. So just get that cut off there and there. Um, and then on the side as well. So this is just a removable little piece that I'm doing. Right, so let's see where I want this exactly. So if I slide it in like that and I put it down, let's see, like that, then we've got a bit of a even space on, on the top and the bottom. So I'm quite happy with that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these um tabs and I've got this resting where I want this to end up settling so I think that's the safest way to do it rather than not oh I think I pulled the whole thing off I did <laughs> I was a bit over um, ambitious there and I thought gosh that didn't come off very easily uh, let's try that again not so <laughs> that's better all right so I would get this a bit up at the top where you want it and now I'm just gauging uh, yeah I'm gonna bring it a little bit over so I want that there like that and then I'm just eyeballing this and we can stick that down like that so that's now in the right spot and now we can easily remove this um, make our notes and secret things there and you know do whatever we want Okay, so that's in place, so that's great. So let's just finish off this now. Right, so what I've got is I want to decorate this a little bit. Um, and I've got a few bits here from my um, 
die cuts that I've made and you know I'm loving these skeleton leaves this is from one of the background pages the one with the leaves on and I love that dual color that it's created there this is just a little pink piece of cardstock um, that can just well, I just had a little bit stuck in there so that's fine um, and then that's just another one I think this is garden greens gosh I've got ink and glue and everything all over me that's just a little uh, sentiment and you know I love using those so I've got this little one as well also from the background pages so I thought that I would um let's get this down and then I know that I haven't no we'll do that last so sorry guys I'm like all over the place here okay let's put this one down first I think like that and then I thought I was I was going to lay these two up sort of over the page slightly don't be limited by the edge of the page I am definitely not and then I had this little one as well which I thought would look nice just going over there like that so I'm going to stick this one down first there we go I can hear the kids are listening to the TV <gasps> You know, there's just never peace, is there? I hope that you guys can't hear all this music and stuff in the background. Let's hope not. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but um, I did ask her to just turn it down. Right, and then this little one. All right. Oh, I have really enjoyed using this die. Uh, uh so lovely somebody asked me to put these in my shop but i don't uh cut out but i'm not sure if that's going to be an option <laughs> right and then this little one as well this one can then just go over that side like that so we've got all the different kinds of leaves autumn colored leaves love it and then i'm just going to take crispy leaves because this has got leaves all over it um and i'm going to stick this little sentiment over here just like that there we go so there's the top level done so i'm happy with that um so leaves all over the place um so let's get this in place now so we should be able to just slide this in here nicely um well yeah i think i should have put in the other bits first okay so um at the top here i've just made a couple of bits i don't know how many of them i'm going to put in now this is again me rummaging through the um scrap pile this is the, the, the yellow backing page i've fussy cut those little um, butterfl butterflies, pumpkins, from, um, let me just grab it here, from this sheet of paper, from there, okay, and the leaves, so I cut out a few of those, and I have just put them um, on here, layered them and put them together, this is just a little die cut that I had from one of my reads, it says hello autumn, so I just stuck it on the bottom, and I've just backed it with some paper and done that. So that's what that is. This is, again, another little scrap from the, the cappuccino page. I've just stuck a, a die cut and put one of my typewriter words on there. Use some vellum scrap, pink one, um, a bit of uh, washi and a little leaf. I've just stuck that on there like that. So I was just looking to do different things. This is me cutting out some of those leaves on there like that. And this is one of the window bits I cut out. Um, and I've just laid it up like that as well. Put in some string. Okay, so I'm not sure how many of these we will put in. But I wanted a, a different colours. So I thought I'd just make a couple and see. So I don't know, maybe not all of those. Maybe three of them like that. I think that's enough. Yeah. And then I've got two tags that I've made. Hopefully they're going to fit. <laughs> this one, I've taken the background paper like that, just backed it on two card. And that should fit in here somewhere. Hopefully. There we go. So I just need to open that up a bit. So 
So that's just going to slide in there. So we've just got a little card in there like that. Yep. Then we've got this one at the bottom here, which I just need to check if it's nice and loose, hopefully. And then we can just slide that card into the bottom um, over here. Right, so there we go. Just a little bit of a sticky spot in, a, in the places there. So there we've got our little um, bit over here. Now at the back here, I was thinking of putting a little envelope, but I don't think I'm going to. I think this, there's enough in here at the moment with all these bits and bobs at the top here. So let's just make those go out a little further. And then that should lie nice and flat there. Um, and then we can just slide that in. Just get those in there. We can just slide the, that in to our bit over here. Right, so, <laughs> Angela, I think we'll be adding this card afterwards. So let's put that in there like that. There we go. And then this little one can hopefully, hopefully, just need to pull it further down. There we go. And then that can just go and fit into that section over there. Eventually. All right. There we go. So there we've got it. I will have to... Um, I think my little knots have made it a little bit not so flat. Okay, guys, so that's my little project for today. I hope that you've enjoyed that. It was just really a very quick one and one I had to alter as I went. But I quite like the fact that it's removable and it's a different way of using a little belly band. Um, and it's really pretty as well. We can stick lots of notes and, in fact, might even put a little bit more on there. So I've got another a few bits of ephemera. I was going to use this little envelope and stick it at the back, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think that we've probably got enough on here and I'll use that for something else. All right. So thank you so much again for following along with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Go and look for a mailer. You can use any mailer, um, any size that you have. Just cut it in half and do as I've done. And there you go. All right. So thank you as always for spending some time with me. I hope you give this a go. It will work in any theme, as you know. So I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Thank you as always for your wonderful support and encouragement. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.